Want to guess where I am this morning? Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, before we get to showing you guys the new Gigaparts store, a couple of things that I did want to get out there. A, I apologize that I had to do a voiceover for this video. I don't prefer to do that style. Unfortunately, they had music playing in the background, and I would have definitely taken a copyright strike on this video had I have left the original audio in it. Also, there's a lot of different interest here uh, other than ham radio. If you just want to see the ham radio section, I'll leave a timestamp right here on the screen so you can skip to that section. But the new Gigaparts store in Huntsville, Alabama has a lot to offer, a lot of different hobbies. So one of the sections that they've got here is toys and gadgets. And this is all kinds of different STEM products, STEM puzzles, STEM projects, uh, however you want to call that. But this is a pretty big section that they've got here. Uh, in one corner of the store. This will be kind of in the front corner as you come in. So all kinds of different stuff for all different age levels. Robotics, you name it, they seem to have it in this section of the store. Something else they're carrying now is telescopes. And guys, I don't know very much about telescopes. Not one of those avenues I've ever went down. But they had a pretty impressive collection of these telescopes. So if you're into that kind of thing, definitely get over to the new Gigaparts store. This is just one of the models that uh, Jason was telling me about. Uh, he's one of the guys from Gigaparts. He's telling me that's a pretty credible uh, little unit. Uh, for a telescope that's in a really small package. Here's just a few of the other floor models that they've got on hand here. And then as you can see, there's boxes and boxes of telescopes uh, sitting on, I think it was two different uh, racks here uh, with the telescopes. We're about to go over into the 3D printing area. I was amazed. I mean, absolutely blown away at the selection of filaments that they've got for 3D printers. This is just one aisle here. You're going to see me flip around here. We'll take a look at another aisle. And then that entire back wall right there is all different filaments. This is one of the 3D printers that they have on hand here. Uh, now remember guys, I was here for the soft opening. So I'm here uh, about five days, six days before the grand opening. They're supposed to have some more 3D printers that are going to be on display by the time the grand opening rolls around. Here's another entire wall of uh, filament for your 3D printer. Uh, again, that entire rack is more boxes of 3D filament. So if you're looking for 3D filament, they probably have any type and color that uh, you want. Now we're moving over into the maker space. That is all heat shrink uh, back there on the back wall. Again, guys, this was kind of like walking into a uh, old school Radio Shack. Oh, Raspberry Pis in this section here. Uh, so a lot of different components. They had Raspberry Pi 4 and 5, 4 gig and 8 gig all uh, in stock while I was there. This section here, let's see, this is just different um, things that you might need while you were building something. So switches, wiring, things, uh, things like that. Uh, flipping around, you've got this whole section right there that I just kind of skimmed over was resistors and then capacitors. Coming around to the other side here, uh, you'll see a whole section on soldering. So different soldering irons, flux, cutters, you name it, they've got it uh, in this maker section. So if you're working on something and you're in the Huntsville area and you need it, Gigaparts has probably got it at this new facility. This entire uh, shelf here was all different wiring, different gauges, different colors, uh, if you needed wiring, you definitely know where to find it. Uh, and then they've got all kinds of different little projects that you can build. I'll zoom in on one of these here in just a second so that you can kind of get an idea of what it is. I believe that was, is an AM FM radio right there. But uh, several different project boards would be great for kids and then they've got a whole metal detection uh, section here. So 
quite a few different metal detectors, different uh, accessories that you would need, whether it was shovels or whatever. Uh, they do have a lot of metal detecting. They've got an entire corner dedicated to backpacks, so uh, several different types. Uh, they've got several different colors and several different sizes. We're jumping back now over to the metal detecting. I kind of got sidetracked there while I was filming this. I apologize, uh, but this story was really easy to turn around and get sidetracked with something else going on. There's flashlights and a few knives on that end cap there. And then this section was all to do with pilots. They, uh, I was told they're going to be expanding this going forward. So they've just kind of got the uh, little basic items here right now, but that will be expanding out in the very near future. Now, if you hang on, I believe we're about to get around to the ham radio section here in just a second here. This is just uh, one more end cap over kind of close to those backpacks that you saw from the other angle a while ago. Yeah, so here we are starting to roll into the ham radio section. So uh, different wire, power poles, fuses, uh, anything like that would be right here in this particular section. Uh, a whole end cap here, Anderson power pole crimpers, um, all kinds of different things related to Anderson power poles and wiring up a project. They've got some batteries here and uh, some battery chargers that are on this particular uh, shelf area here. Flipping around, you see an, an entire uh, shelf here of uh, battery boxes. And they've even got a cart so that when you get overloaded, uh, you'll have a way to move that from point A to point B. You'll see a few of the Explorer backpacks here and a few more battery boxes. They've actually got a whole other section we'll see in a minute on the Explorer backpack uh, and a lot of the different modules that go um, with that Explorer backpack series. But I tell you what, this was uh, like a kid in a candy store walking through this. Uh, there's just so much. Uh, it's hard to take it all in in just one trip. This uh, section here is all bio NO batteries. So whatever battery you need, whatever size you need, they've probably got it on the shelves uh, here at Gigaparts. This end cap here has uh, some Morse keys on it, Morse code keys on it. So if that's something you're interested in, they had both paddles and straight keys on that. And then an entire section here dedicated to uh, ropes for uh, ho hoisting mast, guying things out, things of that nature. You'll see a few more here on the end cap. And then there's an entire book section here, uh, all kinds of different reading material for whatever you happen to need, whether you're trying to build a new antenna or whether you're studying for your next ham radio test. They uh, probably have a book in that section to cover you. Now, coming over to one of the back wall, I believe this is the very back wall in this place. This is the ICOM booth. So they've got all of the ICOM radios out there that you can kind of get your hands on, play with a little bit. They do have a CB and a scanner section uh, that's between the ICOM booth and the Yezu booth that we'll be looking at here in just a second. There's Yezu coming up, uh, so all of the handhelds, the mobile radios, several of the base stations that are out there, uh, they've got quite a nice little display for Yezu radios. And one of the nice things about going to a store like this, you can actually go in and put your hands on a particular radio before you purchase it. We're looking at chameleon antennas here, so that kind of gives you an idea if you went in uh, what those particular antennas might look like if you were going to carry those into the field. Uh, we've got a whole wall here of uh, various things. These are mainly antennas, whether it be for mobile or handheld. There's Yaggies. I even figured out, uh, saw that they had the elk antenna, which I really like. They had several of those in stock. Uh, more antennas here. These are uh, some by Comet. Uh, I believe my brother-in-law runs one of the Comet GP antennas. I can't remember exactly which model that is. Turning back around, because I had skipped over several of these booths, there's the desk mat that uh, I use in my shack. But you can see various speakers and microphones 
that they've got uh, in, in this particular section here. We'll see some Heil headphones here in a minute as well. I believe this was antennas uh, that they had and then some coax on the bottom shelf. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. What's on this? Oh, on this end cap was some uh, boom booms for different Heil mics. In the Heil section, you could pretty much get any radio cable that you needed to connect a Heil mic up to your radio and then a good assortment of Heil headsets as well. And then quite a bit of miscellaneous stuff from MFJ took up this entire section right here. On the other side of that MFJ section, we had uh, quite a few of the LDG uh, tuners, uh, if you're interested in some of those. So quite a large stock of different items. This was the Explorer backpack section that I was telling you guys about uh, a few minutes ago. They keep expanding this line, so they've introduced quite a new few new inserts to go in the Explorer backpack over the last um, six months or so. so, And they're kind of expanding this entire line. They have the solar panels there that I did a video on. Those are really actually quite good solar panels. I was surprised at those when I saw those and compared those to some of the other things, uh, some of the other panels that I had used in the past. An entire section on their new Intellitron line. Uh, so, And I believe he told me they were going to be coming out I want to say with like 70 new SKUs as 2024 progressed. So this is just their initial offering in this Intellitron line, but quite a few items to choose from. I did a video on the Intellitron line back at Hamcation. If you jump back a few videos, you can probably uh, find that particular video. And then they, uh, this is all computers. So if you want to build your own gaming system, come in here and they have an entire section just dedicated to computers. And I believe all the way through here is just various cases that you could use. They're even going to have a snack bar uh, inside this Gigapart. So it really, it's an amazing experience to get to go uh, and check out all of the different things that they have going on inside this store. Various controllers, steering wheels, flight uh, flight controls like joystick controls. Coming down this aisle, you can see different mice and keyboards that they offer. Uh, so it, it's really a wide variety of items that they do offer for a lot of different interests. They have uh, several different monitors that you can choose from. Now, they do offer some pre-built uh, systems that you might be interested in. If you're looking for a really high-end uh, desktop computer, they do have those already fully assembled, ready to go. But like I was saying, they also have a lot of various parts. So you could literally go in there and pick up every single component that you might need for building a gaming system, uh, right down to the chair that you would want to be sitting in. Uh, this section here was uh, speakers uh, of all different types that you might want to use. They've got headsets that you might want to use uh, with that gaming PC. Then they also have a lot of different peripherals that you might need for your systems as well. A few more computers uh, on the right-hand side. The Aisle that I just kind of took a look at what will be behind me right now had all kinds of different networking gear on it. Um, so whether it was network switches or Wi-Fi routers, we're getting a, kind of a shot of that now. Uh, quite a few different accessories in this area to build out a home network. Now we're moving over to the photography section, and this one kind of piqued my interest since that is my day job. So whether you need uh, tripods or monopods or whatever it happens to be, they do have quite a nice selection uh, from very small desktop uh, type tripods to full-blown tripods, uh, camera straps that they've got in here. There's some more tripods as we go through this section here. I actually had to go back and look at this case after I filmed. That, uh, that big case that you just saw on the end was an entire video lighting kit in one box. Then we got green screens. We got some backgrounds. 
Um, and I tell you what, I, I literally got turned around in here trying to look at everything that they offered. Looking at some of the cameras that they offer, this is a whole lineup of Sony cameras. So I believe there's about 10 different models of Sony's in there. It looks like there's five different models on this side. And I believe there's uh, four or five on the other side of this rack. So Sony is what I use for a lot of my video work. Yeah, it looks like there's four different ones over here. Uh, so everything from a basic vlogger's camera all the way up to some of Sony's professional line. Uh, same thing for Canons. They didn't have quite as many Canons in here, but they did have a nice selection. Of course, my fan, uh, or my favorite is Nikon. So they had some high-end Nikon cameras. That particular one you're looking there on the right goes for about $5,500. So not an inexpensive camera, but still a good selection. I'm not sure if they're going to be renting camera bodies or not, uh, but I know they are definitely going to be renting out camera lenses. Uh, they do carry Fujis uh, here as well. There's a look at the backside that I kind of skipped over a second ago of a few more of the Nikon cameras that they do offer. So, Quite a big selection if you're a professional photographer. Uh, this would definitely be one of my first stops if I was in need of something. We'll be taking a look here in just a second. A lot of little accessories that they've got, uh, but they've also got uh, camera bags, camera cases. Uh, those little uh, pelican-looking cases there, I believe those were marked for 30 bucks. So if you got a uh, ham radio project or you need to store a camera lens, that's a pretty good price on those plastic cases. There's a aisle full of the camera bags. You've got bags to fit just about any need that you would have, whether it's a small point and shoot or it's a full-blown professional setup. You can probably find a bag there that would work for what you needed. They also have a little section here that's got various uh, filters, lens caps, just kind of little miscellaneous things that you might find a need for if you are into the photography game. And then I believe this is the last aisle of the photography cases here, uh, but individual lens cases uh, ranging from probably a 300 28 all the way down to a small 50 millimeter lens. You could probably find something in that section that would do what you needed it to do. 